Inspired by a self-orienting towable excavator, the team at Hacksmith Industries set out to build a six-legged robot. They thought it would take three months, but ended up spending over a year on it. They had to change the robot's shape and carefully plan how its legs would move for walking. After welding it all together, they tested it in a field. It took a few steps, but then a leg broke so they had to stop working on it because it needed a lot of time and resources. Even though they didn't finish it, the project showed their engineering skills and their dedication to getting kids interested in science and technology. They did manage to create a robot that could walk and be ridden, even if only briefly. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has made a special snake-like robot called EELS. It's not like any regular space robot, it can go into tight spaces under the ice on distant planets. It is 13 feet long, weighs 220 pounds, and has 10 parts that spin to move, grab and hold onto things. It can work by itself, finding its way in rough places and figuring out dangers. It has four pairs of cameras and special tech to make 3D maps of where it is. This helps it choose the safest path using its smart navigation. This robot can sense its surroundings, make choices and fix problems on its own, which is super important for exploring tough spots. Engineers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology have made a unique robot called Mori 3 for space missions. Unlike big robots, it is made up of smaller parts that can join together in different shapes, like buildings with triangles. These parts work together like a team sharing a common brain. It can change its size, shape and job to do different tasks in space, like helping astronauts on the Moon or Mars. It can move around, carry things and talk to people, so it's good for basic space tasks. This new way of making robots challenges how we usually think about them. The team believes robots like it can be used in many ways in space exploration, solving problems in small and tricky spaces. Scientists are using a special robot fish called SoFi to explore underwater worlds. This robot fish can swim in all directions and take pictures of what's down there. It even listens to divers' commands through sound signals. They can tell it to go faster, turn or dive up and down. They tested Sophie in the Pacific Ocean and found it's good at swimming from the surface to 18 meters deep. The robot fish moves like a real fish and it's soft and gentle on the underwater animals. This cool invention could change the way we explore and learn about the ocean, making it easier and kinder to the creatures that live there. Researchers at the University of Tokyo have created a robot named Spider that can do something incredible. It can crawl like a spider on the ground and fly in the air. This robot is super light, weighing just 33 pounds, and it uses special engines and thrusters to move around. Unlike real spiders that use silk parachutes, it relies on these thrusters to move. It has eight legs, and each leg has four thrusters, for a total of 16 thrusters. When it uses them together, it can stand up, walk or even fly for about nine minutes before it runs out of power. Right now it is just an early version, but it's a big step in making robots that move like real spiders. The Grand Elephant is a huge mechanical elephant that can carry up to 50 passengers. It looks like a moving building and is powered by an eco-friendly hybrid motor. This massive elephant weighs 48.4 metric tons, mainly made of steel and wood. It can move slowly at 1 to 3 kilometers per hour, thanks to its special motor with 62 cylinders. Inside, there's a comfortable lounge with French doors and balconies, and you can even go out on a terrace. It offers three different 30-minute rides, making it a unique and unforgettable experience for all. Just remember, it can only operate in good weather conditions. Researchers have created a special robot that can jump really high and far. It works by crouching down, storing energy, and then leaping into the air. The robot is quite simple, with a small motor and big springs made of carbon fiber, like a bow used by archers. These springs help it store energy safely. When the robot is ready, it jumps super fast, going from zero to 60 miles per hour in just nine milliseconds. It can even jump up to almost 100 feet high. 
As it jumps, it becomes like an arrow in shape, making it go even faster. The amazing thing is that the robot doesn't break when it lands back on the ground. Snack is a new bird-like robot that can land on branches and carry things. It was made by a team of engineers at Stanford and the University of Groningen. The robot is inspired by peregrine falcons and uses technology like quadcopter drones to fly. It can carry things that are much heavier than itself. Snag has 3D printed plastic bones, motors and fishing line, muscles and tendons that make it perch like a real bird. Its legs can move in 14 different ways, which helps it land smoothly on branches. When it lands, its legs absorb the impact and quickly grab onto the branch. It also uses sensors to stay balanced. This robot could be used for things like watching wildlife, rescue missions and studying the environment. Leonardo, a new robot, can walk and fly, making it special. It's designed to do tough jobs that normal robots and drones can't. Leo is light but strong, with special computer programs that make it stable on the ground and in the air. It's not heavy, just 5.7 pounds and not too tall at 2.5 feet. Leo has skinny legs that help it take off and electric thrusters that help it fly well. They tested Leo by having it skateboard and walk on a tightrope. Because it can do both walking and flying, Leo can inspect power lines and tall bridges and help during disasters. It's very useful for checking important things. The Aqua Jelly is a unique flying object designed to mimic a jellyfish's movement. It uses a special method called peristaltic propulsion to move indoors. The Air Jelly has eight flexible tentacles that imitate a real jellyfish's natural movements. These tentacles are powered by electricity and help it float using a recoil principle, similar to how a jellyfish moves in water. Despite its size, the Air Jelly is incredibly lightweight, weighing only 1.3 kilograms. It has an electric drive, batteries, and a helium-filled balloon inside its body to make it float. By shifting its weight and using peristaltic propulsion, it can move in any direction in three-dimensional space. The tentacles of the air jelly are designed using a natural concept called the fin ray effect, allowing them to curve and move against forces, helping the flying jellyfish glide through the air like its biological counterpart. Kawasaki has created a special robot called Bex, inspired by wild goats like the Ibex. Unlike its original plan for two-legged robots, Kawasaki designed Bex to have four legs for better movement on different terrains. What's cool about Bex is that it has wheels on its knees, which help it move quickly on smooth ground. It can also carry heavy stuff, up to 220 pounds, which is handy for construction work and checking out industrial sites remotely. Kawasaki hopes Bex will be like the robotic dog, Spot, used in Hyundai factories. And the best part, Bex's top part can change its look, but its goat-like appearance adds a fun twist to its abilities. Researchers at Harvard have developed a unique soft robot gripper inspired by tentacles. When deflated, these tentacles look lifeless, but when filled with air, they curl unpredictably, like a pigtail. When objects are nearby, some tentacles naturally wrap around them and each other. Although single tentacles are weak on their own, the combined group can securely hold heavy and oddly shaped items. This gripper doesn't need complex sensing or planning. It relies on simple inflation to grasp objects. This innovation could help robots handle delicate tasks, such as handling fragile coral or priceless artifacts from shipwrecks, enhancing their versatility and autonomy. 